Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are working on our ProLine ProFusion SE 4x4. This is a one tenth scale uh, short course truck, which is uh, a bit of an understatement. You, it's it's really it's really a a beefed up tenth scale. Uh, monster truck we can uh or you guys can check out our our previous episodes on this vehicle in the playlist in the uh, video description we've uh we've built the diffs already now these are upgraded with the kraken cnc machined aluminum diff housings here you can see uh, so we filled those up we're going to continue with our build with the chassis in this episode so Really nice instruction book that lays it all out for you. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and grab the chassis bag. That's this over here. And we'll go ahead and cut this open. Pull these parts out here. All right, so these are the side... Uh, dirt guards there. We'll put those off over here. Looks like a couple of bumper pieces, aluminum tube or aluminum tube, antenna tube. All right, so you can just check out the quality of machining here. Really cool stuff. All right, so this does have a a bimetal chassis, meaning this over here is the second part of the chassis here. I'll put the dog bone off to the side or the center drive shaft, but in here you will find a steel backbone. Oh, I can't, we should cut this off. It's really wedged in there. A steel backbone to the aluminum chassis, which is really nice, preventing uh, just a flex there. All right, so that just drops in. Oh, it's a little bit shorter, so it goes. Try to find the orientation of the holes. All right, there we go. So you can see how it just sits in here, just preventing the, the flexing of the chassis. Um, not sure why is it, there's this gap here. Perhaps it's for this now this is the center differential housing um, and I'm just gonna grab a pair of cutters in the toolbox to take off the extra flashing off the plastic here you can use an exacto knife too um, all right we're gonna use some four by 12 flat headed countersunk screws that come in the bag A. And I'm just gonna put these on. It's nice that they have these scale um, drawings of the, the actual screws being used here. I've got some additional hardware here on my pit mat. But the four by 12s are these guys over here. And those are going to go, looks like, okay, so five of them are going to go into here. Uh, and it looks like there's a, okay, so whoop. I'm going to go ahead and screw these in first and then drop in that, that reinforcement. Okay, there we go. There, the reason why that there's a, that extra portion of that channel is that this is actually recessed here, the, the diff case. So that drops into that, that center channel, which is nice. I'm just going to grab a driver to start this off, and then I will use the, um, 
power driver to finish this off. Really impressed with the quality of components here in this kit so far. All right, let's get the power driver. here closer Just gonna lower the torque setting on my driver here Working these by hand. Oh, looks like that one got torqued down pretty well. I'm kind of doing a crisscross pattern, but not going to be being completely rigid to it. I'm going to grab that back wheel in case it fell on. All right, so the the two holes in the back bone. Go under there. What else do we have? Oh, we, so you've got to use one of these nuts. And then a three by 10 screw. Kind of interesting that they, uh, not sure why they, they used a nut on this side. Versus just going into the plastic there. do we have here we okay so this brace it goes on the back here and there's two nuts that go through there and that should go right here but we've got and that's kind of nice there the groove fits onto that backbone we actually have another upgrade from Kraken here so this is the Kraken uh, PLR4102 Pro 4 slash SC Fusion rear chassis support brace. All right, and it comes with two screws that replace the screw and nut combination there. So go ahead and break this open. And this will. Go in place of this, so we can throw that into our extra parts bin. And all right, 
So you want it to, so these are threaded. So instead of using the nuts there, these will thread straight into the new brace. So you, since you're going metal into metal, definitely use some of that thread lock here. Red lock on it first. And we will screw that into here. Just line up the holes on the bottom. And make sure not to cross thread as you're going into that aluminum piece. Oh, and I'm actually wondering if, so that screw pops out on the other side, we could probably still use the nuts there for some extra support. And we're still gonna use this thread lock. See how these end up working here if we use the nuts on the other side. There may or may not be enough. To retain the screw on the other side or the nut on the other side of this screw. Let me just line. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like they're just a little bit. It's probably not worth putting the nut on there. You can see here. Yeah, because it's just gonna barely thread onto that nut. So we'll leave that off and just use the replacement screws that came with the Kraken part straight onto that aluminum brace. Oh, I think we, <laughs> I don't think we put it in the right way. Oh no, we, yeah, we did. There you go. I was thinking, hey, maybe it goes in this way, but no, that's not correct. This is the right way. All right. So again, this is the beginnings of the, the chassis here. Um, step four, we'll go ahead and put on, where were those battery straps? Oh, here they are. Okay, so these are just double-sided battery foams. We'll go ahead and get those on. Uh, actually, we'll go ahead and wipe down the chassis first. Let's see if we... Always good to have some... So we'll just wipe these down with some rubbing alcohol. And then we'll stick on these battery straps. So, that's not any hard step at all. Let us know what you guys think of the build in the comments. And stay tuned for more episodes as we continue on this build. Like, comment, subscribe. And we will catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.